Hello everybody and welcome back to another Atomic Sugar Subnautica video. Um, in today's video, it was requested by a fellow subscriber, and that was to, to do a full base tour. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually start from the outside, and then I will show you guys the interior as well. Before I move on, I just want to state that you guys probably should not build your bases where my base is located. As you guys can see here, I do have to constantly wear a radiation suit because I built it close to the Aurora. I will actually put up a map right now on screen to show you guys where my base is located. Um, so, in order to fully show you guys my base, I just want to do an outdoor view first. And I do want to mention there are still some newbie parts to this base. It's not a complete um, professional cleaned up base. So, if we start from back here... We can see that this is the main pillar. This is where I put most of my reinforcements so then my base integrity can stay still, as you guys can see here. What I do recommend though is actually if you guys want a cleaned up base, um, keep a room right here, but then just put a multi purpose room right below it and cover it with reinforcements. That way um, it won't look as not cleaned up or as unprofessional as mine. Um, so yes, this is, you know, let me go to the top of the water for you guys, just to show you. Um, this is what it looks like from above. I, my first, um, segments of my base were actually right here. I built this, and then I extended from there on. And this main pillar is the one that holds all the reinforcements, and, um, the one that holds the exteriors of the base. Now, before I go inside and I show you the interior, this was a, um, my first ever base that I built. It was just a simple... Um, little area that I put a chair down and a few trash cans and I just kept it just because it um, reminds me of the first base that I built. So before we go in I just want to show you guys the, interior, uh, the exterior gardens. I do have most of the plants in Subnautica. Of course I don't have all of them because that's extremely hard to do. Um, but I do have most of them and I always strongly suggest building a platform outside of your um, uh, base just to put an extra grow bed so then you do, guys don't have to go searching for resources all the time. I have a, flu, a few um, floodlights over here as you can see and it's just to help me um, navigate through my base a bit when it's outside. I do have a gab trap over there and this is just my, th um, my power supply connecting to my thermal vent over there. Another downside to building my base this deep. Alright, so as we enter through my main entrance you guys can see here I do have a emergency... Oh. <laughs> now I'm petting my cuttlefish, but as you guys can see here, I do have an emergency bag where I can take all my stuff if I want to depart from my base. Here is my deep suit, which I use to go far away, and then right off the entrance to the left is my, um, I guess you could say bio room. It's my bioreactor, and I have everything running over here, and I built all of this um, food and resources so then I can use it for my bio room. Um, so this keeps me fed and I also have a random Ming plant I don't know why I have one right there but this is my bio room and it's the only section that goes out to the right of my um, building alright so as we come over here this was the main se section this is where I have all of my resources stored um, my water uh, yeah most of my water then I just have a ton of random resources over here this is my main fabricator right next to the door and the radio. Um, over here I just have my uh, windows right here. These are my windows and then these are my quartz and my big um, uh, I guess you could call it locker. As we come down here I've got stalker teeth and magnetite magnetite yeah yeah magnetite um, as well as, as an observatory that I first built when I started um, growing the section out. And then as you guys come over here this is ooh, I'm getting that. There we go. As you guys can see here, I put some reinforcements over here. I also have an um, exit, as long as another window. And this is my main part of the base. Now over here, I got where I sleep. I've got my coffee machine, more food just to wake up. And as you guys climb this ladder, this is the I guess you could call living area or um, uh, yeah, just living room in general. Um, and this is where I have my food, and also this. Um, unusual doll or toy which I will actually link the video that I have in order to find this. Um, as we move up, this is my first alien containment unit and I sort of made it like a sciencey area 
Um, and I put like the Aurora. And in here, I've got a few bone sharks and a mesmer. And then up here, this is where my um, filtration machine is running. Um, I also have my moon pool or where my um, sea moth is departed from over here. So as you guys can see up here, we start from up here. Oh, and this is I will also this toy car that you can also find with the unusual doll, which I will link the video in the, either in the description or as a suggestion. So as you guys can see here, I have my crab snake alien containment unit, and then I've got my moon pool just to depart where I have my prom suit. Um, after that, we can go back to the main top part, and down there I've got my scanning room, and then over here I have my final part of my base, which is just my nuclear reactor. And on the back, I have one single cra crab squid as an alien containment unit. And uh, if you guys are stacking multi-purpose rooms, I do suggest to have like one or two rooms that doesn't have windows and just reinforcements. So then you can uh, create your um, base as bigger or make your base bigger. And then I have an amp eel over here. And then just an exit that is located right here. So there you guys have it. That is my full base tour. I do have a few exits and you guys can use um, like ladders and stuff just to like sort of clean it up. I would strongly suggest using a pillar like this in multi-purpose rooms just to make and then you guys can make extensions like this but it just makes the um, reinforcement portion of the actual uh, base so much easier. I also suggest always 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 having a farm either inside right here like in my bio room or outside just so then you guys don't have to go and farm resources and also make sure not to build your base like I did right next to the Aurora because then you have to constantly wear a radiation suit and that's not the best all right anyways guys that is my full base tour thank you for that subscriber to recommend this um, video suggestion and that's it for me peace out